Wow. We're here in Manchester to speak to the guys behind classic football shirts. Chelsea, I'm excited. Are you? I cannot wait to get in. Should we go? Let's do it. Let's go. Doug, Matt, thank you so much for having us. We're in heaven, aren't we? I'm, I'm <laughs> buzzing, <laughs> buzzing right now. Um, where did the love of football for you start? I think growing up, about five or six, I used to get yeah. taken to Highbury. First match was in 91, I think, for my birthday, and then ever since then, you know, yeah, and you see all the kits as well, it, that's kind of where it came from. We all love the beautiful game, mm. but what about the love for these retro shirts? Where did that come from? Uh, I think they just have so much meaning, like as soon as you see a shirt, it takes you back to a certain moment, a particular player or a game, you know, that you went to. And I think for every shirt means something different to, to like every single person. Well, how did this idea start? I was looking for this. Germany 1990 shirt wow. and kind of realised that there wasn't anywhere in the world that you could buy one of these shirts. A few conversations later me and Matt start talking and kind of realised there's a bit of a gap in the market. It was like a student house, so I think it was a four bedroom house and just us two living in there so there were two bedrooms that were just crammed no, with football Your shirts. mate had to... We... Yeah we kicked one of my mates out to, <laughs> fill, <laughs> to fill his room with shirts. Sorry we've got a real place. classic coming in, <laughs> you know. Yeah. What was, I've got to ask, what was the first shirt that you bought and sold? The Liverpool 89 shirt. So, there you go, yeah. Liverpool. Which, which we always used to say was the last time you won the league, but obviously now it's, it's not quite the case, is it? <laughs> <laughs> What's one of the most rarest shirts that you guys have here? This one here, for example. If you think all shirts start life in a sports shop at 40 quid, which one's gone up the most in value? It would be this one. So how much are we talking for this guy? You're talking about a grand for this now, like an excellent condition, adult size, but not this actual one, because this is Ronald Koeman's <laughs> actual shirt from the Euro, so oh, it's wow. worth quite a bit more than that. Is there any teams lately in the past, I don't know, two, three seasons where you think that's going to be a retro shirt in, I don't know, 20 years time? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's so many more now, I think, than there were maybe six or seven years ago. The brands are taking a lot more effort to produce shirts that are like that, like the Ajax away this season's amazing. Yeah. Um, all of the Nike third shirts yeah. last season with the Futura logo are really collectible. You see them now. Like the RRP was like 60 quid. Now you see them go for 150, even sometimes yeah. more, and that's just in the space of a season. There's nothing really more powerful than a football shirt for just transporting you back to where you were. Yeah. Um, you know, you just look at it and you go, bang. Wow. <laughs> it's like the Wembley steps. Great. Insane. <laughs> it's got the padding on it. That is just incredible. All right, my mind's blown, but you guys have a challenge for us, don't you? Yeah. That's right. What so is it? We're going to ask you to find three shirts. The first shirt is the most valuable shirt. The second shirt, what you think is the most fashionable, and the best shirt from your team. Okay. Get on your scooters. How long have we got? You've got two, two minutes. minutes to look for it all. Two minutes? Two, two minutes for the whole place. Let's go. Two, let's do this. Go. go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go this one. Man United. Liverpool, Liverpool, Liverpool. Right, right, uh... right, follow me, follow me, follow me, follow me. That is an absolute classic. Ooh. 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 Let's go this way, quick, quick, quick. I've got no time, I'm just going for Liverpool. Done. I'm done. Got it. All right, so let's see number one, the most valuable shirt, what have you chosen? All right, I'm going to go first. And I went for this Manchester United number, 1990. I know this is popular. Good choice. It is a good choice, but I wasn't in that aisle, you see. I was in the Liverpool one for way too long. So I picked this up. It's a good yeah. choice. It's from 92, so it's a bit more recent. All right, so who wins? Most Craig valuable. wins. Yeah, Craig wins this United one. United beat Liverpool. Next one is the most fashionable. I actually like this one. I see you like pick it up. That one is nice. Purple's my colour, and I would wear it's that. Nice. I just went for PSG because I know PSG is very, even today, very popular. Mm. But it's a classy choice. It's a really close yeah. choice. For I think we should. Shirts. I think we should call it a draw. We could take it to a tie break. One <laughs> one. one. Last one. one then. What are we going for? Our own. Oh. How do you even score this? Best shirt of your team. I, I couldn't decide, but I went for this just because oh. we haven't had a kit like this for so long, and it's just that colour. Way. Look at the crest. Now, I've seen a few fans, you know, going to Tottenham games wearing this, and my dad had this when I was young as well. It just always stood out to me, the colours and stuff. I think we're going 
Chelsea just because he's got the print on the back, Robbie Fowler. There's no Klinsman on yeah. that one, otherwise it might be a close, uh, close choice. Yes, I I'm will. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad. It's a nice shirt. Though. That's a nice it's shirt. nice, right? So can we come back, boys? Anytime you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. All right, so we just got to find a way to put these back. <laughs> See you guys in about two hours. <laughs>